Hi you guys, it's Zippy. Um, I got some stuff to tell you about uh, things that went on in the hospital and the rehab center and then, you know, stories about stuff that's going on here. I swear my truth is stranger than any fiction, anything I can make up, right? Well, one of the things, I was taking a lot of morphine and um, when I got out of ICU and went on the regular floor, I was like taking a lot of morphine. And the thing about morphine or any pain medication um, and uh, is that oh my god, sorry, god, and I got oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, I'm sorry you had to see that, but not sorry enough not to do it, right? Yeah, I lifted my cheek because you know I have to because I'm sitting in this wheelchair and I'm sitting so hard on my butt I can't let no farts out like normal people, so I have to lift it up. And that's how it is with pooping too, because you know you're in the hospital and you're taking this morphine, okay, and then you're sitting on your butt and you're not moving around. So you get constipated, and eventually what happens is you not only get constipated, you get impacted. Now, when you're impacted, you don't want to you don't want to poop, and you don't want to poop because you're impacted, and you're impacted because you don't want to poop, and you don't want to poop because you're impacted. And so, what happens is they had to manually clean out my pooper scooper. So I wasn't pooping. They gave me all the stuff that they needed to give me, and so it wasn't happening. So um, they went ahead and got a gloved finger to my butt. Okay, now then, that would have been almost okay because not pooping is very painful. That would have almost been okay. It for a couple of things. First of all, the lady who dug out my pooper scooper was an RN and she was just about crazy. In fact, she was right there at crazy. She was on crazy threshold. And if you've ever seen uh, Misery with Kathy Bates and James Conn in it, you'll know what I mean, because Kathy Bates is a nurse who rescues a guy from uh, that got into a wreck during a blizzard, and she heals him. She brings him back to health. Well, when she finds out that he's healed and he can leave, she takes a sledgehammer to his legs and breaks them. <laughs> I had Kathy Bates for a nurse, and her name was Debbie. And Debbie would sing whenever she did anything to you. So Debbie was like, Martha, Martha has a backup pooper, so I have to get a pooper. This kind of crazy crap, okay? I'm telling you, she was crazy. And she did not use one finger. No, no, nor did she use two fingers. I swear, she used three fingers to dig poop out of my butt. And she did that twice. Now, just in case I wasn't sure if she was crazy, she topped it all off by, well, she came into my room the second time to pull poopers out of my butt. And she brought a plastic spoon with her from the cafeteria. Now, I do not know what she was going to do, but I said, I looked at that, even in my morphine uh, euphoria, whatever, I wasn't euphoric, but even with the drug meds I was taking, I looked, I knew that something wasn't right, no flies on me, right, and so I looked at her, and I said, do you have a plastic spoon in your hand, and she goes, oh, you weren't supposed to see, naughty, naughty me. I'm like, I have died and gone to hell because
Kathy Bates here, and she's got a plastic spoon for my pooper scooper. Okay? So, yeah. Well, we got out of there pretty quick. Now, I need to tell you a couple other stories, but I'm sneaking up on time. So, hang loose, catch